I created a video to show you how to customize a Padlet. If you don't know what a Padlet is, it's kind of like a wall where people can post all their comments. There's a few different ways to organize it, and you can do that in the settings when you set it up. So let's start by creating a new Padlet. And so this is usually the, the way that it'll show up uh, out of the box. So if you want to change that, you go down here where you have this gear tool, and you can give yourself an icon to start with and give it a title. Now, sometimes in classroom, I'll use a question. What is the meaning of this text? Okay, and you could add a little more description here if you wanted. Um, there are a few ways to lay out your uh, Padlet. You know, I prefer the stream, but it depends what I'm doing. So when somebody posts something, a student, um, it'll show up first, second, third, fourth, and it is chronological. Or you can set it up in a grid, sort of a little bit like uh, Google Plus. So you'll have one, two, three, going on sideways, and just freeform. So I'm going to leave it at stream. And um, what I want to do now, click on the address, and this is where it's really important. If you're going to share this with students and email it to them, uh, or just put it out on the board, it's pretty easy to put it out on the board, which is what I usually prefer doing. So I usually pick a custom address. So usually it'll be padlet.com backslash whatever the name your Padlet account is. Mine is Mark Dubo one And let's pretend this was on uh, a text on, I don't know, journals, journalism or something. Doesn't matter. So I'd write Mark Dubo one journalism. If I had several texts or I want to do several Padlets on this topic, I'd usually number them. All right. Uh, so journalism one, journalism two, journalism three. Um, doesn't really work like a mind map Padlet. It's like one stream of consciousness, one issue I find is what works best. Okay, so let's click pick and it is accepted. All right, um, a few things, you could change the wallpaper. I usually put something like the wood so it's not so distracting and um, I'm pretty much ready to go. So now what I would do is I would put this on the board, tell the students my awesome wall, uh, Mark Dubo and oh, Oh, here it is. Journalism. Okay. I kind of already knew that. And I share it with them. And what will happen is once they type this URL, they, this will show up and they will be able to write their comments, add videos, add images. Uh, thing I find works best in Padlet for students is when they add an image to add the image by URL. I'll just show you really quickly. When you add an image by URL, you go Google.ca. And so. What we're going to do here is look for a butterfly. All right. So click on images, Google Images, and let's pretend they want just a small image. Because I always tell my students if you click on this and go to the full size image, you're going to get a massive image. Now, on a Padlet, that doesn't work so well. So let's go again. Image, let's pretend this is just the one they want. It's nice and small. Copy image URL. Then they can paste it in. Uh, when they go and add something on this wall. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.